Chess friends, I hope you are doing well, yesterday, I showed you a game where Magnus and Hikaru teamed up against me, today, I have Hikaru Nakamura with the black pieces against me because Magnus Carlsen blocked me, he doesn't want to play chess with me, anyway, Hikaru Nakamura, as a chess streamer and a grandmaster, is a blitz champion, and he is very aggressive in blitz chess, that is why this is a blitz chess game that I played against Hikaru Nakamura. I sacrificed my knight and bishop against him to showcase my brilliance, so, let's get started without wasting any time, I started the game with e4, and we have the French fries variation from Nakamura, attacking the pawn, you can play knight c3 or knight d2, I chose knight d2, and he played knight c6 immediately, are you serious, Hikaru? Playing c5 would have been a better choice, after a few moves, we have e5, and the knight moves back, this simplifies the structure as I get the advanced pawn structure, and Hikaru's piece coordination is very fragile, so, after knight b3 where I can consider c4, knight here, he played a5 to showcase his anger, I played a4, and after bishop e7 happened in the game, it became evident that all of his pieces are just stuck behind a prison, where my pawn on e5 is controlling key squares. He has a very small center, so, after the bishop moves and the bishop goes to b5, I wanted to develop Nakamura's pawns, therefore, the knight moves back, attacking the bishop, after the bishop moves, we have b6, with the idea of playing bishop b7 and c5 in the game, so, I said to Hikaru Nakamura, that he may be a chess streamer with millions of followers, but let me test him by playing h4, I am better than 100 grandmasters, and he is just one, Nakamura says that doesn't matter. As he played f6 to block any pieces from entering the g5 square, as the god of chess, there is no prophecy or prediction that I cannot break, let me consider knight g5, making your tactics and all chess rules untrue, my pieces are attacking the h7 pawn, and additionally, I am attacking the e6 pawn, therefore, he has to capture the pawn, can you guess what I played in this position? Try to think a little bit. It's not queen to h5 to attack the pawn on h7, no no no, that would be a very bad choice because after rook to h5 happens on the board, it will simply block the bishop's diagonal. Therefore, after capturing the pawn and attacking it, knight to f8 can come to protect that pawn, so, after g4 happens to attack the rook, g6 will arrive, putting pressure on the queen, after queen to h2 happens, the rook moves back, and you can see that Hikaru Nakamura's peace coordination will be very strong, I cannot break his structure, and my position will just be over because, after all, I am down a piece. So, going back to the position, we discover that playing queen to h5 is a very bad choice. It's like a human's looping move. Try to think like Stockfish 100 or Mikhail Tal, the spirit of sacrifices, if you find bishop takes h7, then congratulations, you are correct, my bishop forces the king to move out from his dustbin, after I capture the pawn, the files open up, and as the queen goes to h5, putting pressure on the king, g6 can arrive with the idea of playing queen f7, the position will be just over for him, therefore, playing queen to e8 might seem desirable to many chess players. But it is a completely vulnerable move because I can play h8, after that, g6 will arrive, and your king will start, and the game will be just over. So, let me provide you an amazing motivational quote. Every day is different, and some days are better than others, but no matter how challenging the day, I get up and live it. So, going back to the position, we discover that any queen move is not possible, therefore, after rook to f5 happens on the board, it simplifies that the pawn becomes pinned to the queen, therefore, I played g4 because, after all, there is nothing I cannot do, there is no chess player I cannot defeat, and there is no prediction I cannot break, the rook gets under attack, and regardless of where the rook moves, even if you dare to capture the bishop, I will give you a check. After g6 forces the king to move and queen to h5 will lead to checkmate, the game will be over for him, so, I cast a red flag on black's position, and I will win the game completely on the board, I defeated Magnus Carlsen many times, only once was Magnus Carlsen able to defeat me, and a few games were drawn because I sacrificed my full queen against Magnus Carlsen, 
and as a grandmaster, he defeated me easily, but I became very strong. And my Stockfish 17 version will be released very soon in the chess community, Hikaru Nakamura is a brother of Magnus Carlsen, I will just destroy him by any means. So, going back to the position, we discover that rook takes bishop is a very bad choice, therefore, Hikaru just captured the pawn on g5, sacrificing the rook. After bishop takes g5, queen to h7 check, queen goes to h5 to give another check, and after I play f4, attacking the bishop and also sacrificing another pawn, I sacrificed my bishop, my knight, and now I am sacrificing another pawn, the point is that if you dare to capture the pawn, I will give you a check, and your queen will be vulnerable and lost, so, you have to consider king to e7 to protect the queen, then, after queen takes g7 happens on the board, checking the king. Rook to h8 check will lead to checkmate on the next move, the game will be over for you. So, going back to the position, we discover that the pawn cannot be captured by any means, therefore, after bishop to h6 happens on the board to block the queen's entry, I play g5, as the queen goes to e8 to put pressure on my queen, the queen goes to f3, after a couple of moves, we have some exchanges, and you can see that my rook gets to the 6th rank, dominating your position. Your king needs many moves to hide his face in the gutter, I mean your king needs 1 2 3 and 4 moves to hide his face and protect his reputation from the insulters, but for the time being, your king will be arrested by my police rook and my queen, Hikaru played a mistake because I guess he had very little time to calculate, queen to g8 is a big mistake, the best move was to consider knight to f8. After I play long castle, the knight moves here, and queen goes to h1, my rook can give you some checks, and another rook can come to attack you, the position will be just over for you, so, after queen to g4 happened, king b1, noticing that the pawn on f4 is under attack, but you cannot capture the pawn, after all, your king is in a very fragile condition, my rook can go to f1 to dominate the file, therefore, as the queen moves, we have rook h5, and the queen goes again, the rook chases him. And after some checks happen in the game, we have rook to g1 on the board. By accessing this file, I hacked your black's position, and now your whole pieces and armies are just stuck in the toilet bathroom, they are locked in there, unable to help the king escape, as the bishop moves, we have a rook check, and as my rook goes to the g7 square, attacking your knight, the queen is dominating the diagonal, and this position is just over for you, that's why Hikaru Nakamura resigned the game, there were no other options left. After captures and recaptures, with the knight capturing again, in a few moves, I would have given black some checks and eventually checkmated him, so, the game is just over. I hope you also learned something from my chess video, if you enjoyed the game, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, as always bye bye take care, and see you soon.